Before this review starts, I want to mention, because I forgot to mention it when I recorded the proper review, that there was a cool little Easter egg in this episode with the manga artist where there was a Loop Hat manga poster behind him. So I knew if I forgot to mention that, people would mention it. And I meant to mention it, but I forgot it. Classic me. Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here. Welcome to my review for Machine Sentai Kara Major episode 40. So this was a solid episode. A little bit of more of a filler episode, I would say, more than most in recent times, but it had some pretty solid stuff in it. So you kind of had these two storylines going on that wound up intertwining. One of them was that the villains were going to trick the rangers and they were going to turn a human into a marksman. And it's funny that this is happening because I just recently caught up on Saber where they started this plot where now the villains can come from humans as well. And it's not unheard of in Sentai or Rider, but it's just funny that it's happening around the same time. But that's their basic plan. And they have this monster that can sort of trick them with the Illusion Stone, and that's how he's using those abilities, and then they want to turn a villain into a marksman. And there's a part where he takes the form of Blue, and it reminds me of Wannabe Ranger a lot, hence the episode title. And it was really funny, because usually when you get those scenes, they'll have the two rangers, and then they'll sort of quiz them or something. But it seemed like almost immediately, Senna just starts attacking Shigeru, and he's just down, and he's like, I told you, it wasn't me! So I thought that was pretty funny. So while you have that going on, Drew's like meeting this guy he met on like manga Tinder, and it's this guy that's really good at manga who's sort of being encouraged by this young kid and he's like a shut-in and that ends up being important because they I feel like they try to set it up that the manga guy is kind of creepy and or like weird and he might be the villain but it turns out it's actually the kid the kid is actually the villain and he's the one manipulating the despair in this manga artist to turn him into a marksman and that's what ends up happening and that's how the two storylines intersect so he becomes the big villain and when they get in the mecha they realize that the guy is in there and so to get him out, they use the dust on Mecha to suck him out. And before I keep going on, I want to talk about, there was some really cool stuff in the Mecha fight this week. Like, first of all, they used a couple of the auxiliary Mech, like dust on, which was really cool. Not only just to see him, because those little auxiliary Mecha that are introduced in the beginning of the series can often be forgotten by this point in the series. And that's kind of been the case to a degree in Care Major. We don't see them as often, just like most of them. But I like that we saw that, and we saw, I think, the fork one as well. Um, so that, that was cool. And not to mention, it was a creative use of it that made sense for the plot that they used used him to get him out of there. And then when he came out of there, they split up Karamajan into Land and Sky Mage, and Sky Mage caught him, and then Land Mage continued the fight, and that was really cool. Just, it was a cool creative use of the way the mecha work, and made the fight more interesting, not to mention it was cool to see some things about the Karamajan mech we haven't seen in a while. And then they used, like, Zabune in that staff mode you can see on the back of the box. Um, so there was some cool stuff. Not to mention, this was our first night fight in a while. Early on in Care Major, they did a lot of fights that took place at night. Hence, night fight. But it always looks really cool, because Care Major really shines in the night fights with the mecha because of the way they look. And I'm, we, I feel like we haven't gotten those in a while, unless I'm forgetting it. But regardless, those always look good, and I missed those. So they freed him, and then there was kind of a nice scene with, like, him in this weird limbo dimension where he didn't want to let go of his friend. Uh, and then Red is about to done blow up the marksman for what he did. Like, you have failed this city. And then Yudana shows up, and he's like, oh, good, you're here to help me. And she's like, no, you're a failure. And she just takes the stone and leaves. Pretty savage, pretty badass. But he blows up the guy, and then, you know, he thanks the manga guy for inspiring him while he was, you know, depressed. Not, not, uh... Red wasn't depressed, but the manga guy was depressed. But then at the end of the episode, they find out that he's actually branched out and started using his, his talent to create actual manga out in the world. So yeah, it was a little bit more of a filler episode. Like, I think maybe the villain stuff was supposed to be furthering stuff along a little bit, and they were using the fact that they have the stone from last week, but it didn't really further a ton of plot stuff. It was kind of a nice character episode for Red, I thought. I thought it was kind of an entertaining premise in general. Like I said, there was some really cool stuff in the mecha fight. It was just kind of a, a solid filler episode. that It, it didn't feel like it was... Um, I don't know, frivolous or meaningless, like it felt like it had a nice message to it about like you don't necessarily have to change, you can like kind of like a just be yourself, just be yourself. What kind of garbage advice is that? No, but I thought it was just kind of a nice episode that didn't feel like I wasted my time. Like that's what I've talked about in the past with Care Major is that almost every episode accounts to something or amounts to something, excuse me, accounts, amounts to something and even the episodes that might not have anything to do with the plot feel like they were still solid or entertaining episodes and that's the way I felt about this one. I thought it was a solid episode with a solid premise. Some sort of solid moments, little moments where Care Major sort of flips things on its head, like that moment with Shigeru, where usually they have that moment, like I mentioned, where they uh, they quiz him, but he just immediately starts attacking him. 
and stuff like that. And as I mentioned, I really enjoyed the Mecha Battle stuff. So solid episode this week. I would give it a 7. But what did you guys think? Did you enjoy this week's Kara Major? Let me know in the comments as always. Until next time, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and climb the steps and ring that bell so you can hear some of my videos. Dawson Ryder, signing out.